Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech Solutions. I'm here with Justin and I want to give a huge shout out to Cody. I saw he closed a $16,000 wholesale deal. Uh, wholesaling has always been something that I've wanted to learn a little bit more about. Uh, I've done one video before, but just really didn't get a good understanding of what it has to offer. Uh, Cody's been absolutely killing it. So I asked if I can tag along, ask him a couple questions uh, and I asked if I could bring you guys along. So we just got here to Clever Investor. So let's go ahead and say what's up to Cody. Woo I want to give a shout out to my boy just just got his new Mercedes GTS that yeah shoot Don't you dare. Don't you <laughs> what do you guys thumbs up if you guys like it thumbs down uh no don't thumbs down just say in the comment Stop. section you don't like it Stop. all right we need to get buzzed in, so. <laughs> What's going on, brother? What's going on, big dog? Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky. I'm here with Cody, also known as Clever Investor. Uh, I asked him three things. So I want to know how to find these wholesale deals, how to determine what they're worth to make sure that the margin of profit is worth it. And then how do you find someone to pay more than what, again, you got the house for? So making sure that you find a seller for that. Uh, so Cody was nice enough to welcome us into his office and he's going to be showing us uh, one that you actually were able to wholesale for $25,000. I like that. Let's go ahead and check it out. You know, for, first off, those are those are great questions. And when I was brand new, this this concept of being able to flip a house that you don't own yeah. and make a quick payday was just like mind blowing to me. And so if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, right, I'm telling you, this is happening all over the country right now. It's a process called wholesaling. And this is kind of how it works. I mean, it, it's actually quite simple. It's almost like real estate 101 for people that are just getting in, into the business that are like a little bit more scared to like buy a house, renovate it, and you know take on all that risk, or they don't yeah. have the capital. So this is kind of how how it's done. And this property is in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we got this deal off of a direct mail lead, right? Okay. And so I have a system that we use called the Deal Automator that I, I send out direct mail, and that's actually what we're looking at right here. So we sent the homeowner a postcard, and this particular seller was out of state, and um they were no longer actually living in the property and so there was motivation for them to mm -hmm. want to sell which is one of the things that you want to look for and so we just started talking with them and got on the phone with them and, and went back and forth and uh we researched the property once we started talking with the seller one of the first things you have to do is research the property to see uh what the property is worth and so we were able to um it's called comping the property and we created a an evaluation and it's actually pretty easy you just click a button like this and since we have all the public record data of all the homeowner records in Arizona we were able to see here let me zoom in this is actually the subject property right here and you can see these are all recently sold properties that are similar to that subject property and when we were doing our research and scroll down here can see here these houses are selling for 530 500 those would be viewed as the comps right they have the comps here's ones for 550 and as you start diving in and looking at these deeper we started to realize that this particular property i'll go back to the subject property real quick oh, i don't know what happened right there it's 80 25 When you look at the the house itself you can see that you know it's a decent house the roof is in okay shape but the house is old right yeah, it, definitely. it it was built a long time ago so it needed a tremendous amount of work to get it up to the standards to actually sell it for 525 to 550,000 which other properties in the area that have been fully remodeled were selling for and so you know one of your questions was you know how do you find it we found it through a marketing campaign a direct marketing campaign direct mail uh, then we analyzed the deal and then the second question was how do you determine like the the value the right? value so that's through comping a property and when you have a system like this it makes it pretty easy 
to look at all the recently sold properties in the area. I like that, that you don't need to go like on Zillow, try to even work with another real estate agent to determine, you know, uh, what the house is worth or anything like that. It's, it's kind of like an all in one system where you're able to find the house, search it up, see what it's worth, right? On, on uh, deal automator. Yep. And then once we got a gauge that, hey, houses in this area are selling for 525 to 550,000, we just went back and forth with the seller and there was some motivation there for them to sell. They knew that it needed a, a bunch of work, a full remodel to get it up to that level. And they were kind of in a hurry to get their cash. Of course. And so uh, I used um, a deal analyzer right here to actually analyze the deal. And I was trying to figure out like, because I asked the seller what's the lowest that they would be willing to take. And originally they wanted like three hundred and seventy five thousand mm -hmm. dollars for the property. And I knew that was a little too high. My target after researching the property was somewhere right around three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars. But I didn't think they would go that low. Yeah. So we were just kind of going back and forth until we came up with a, a price that made sense to both of us. But how we analyze the deal to figure out, should I rehab it, should I wholesale it, should I buy and hold it, is all done through the deal analyzer. And so it kind of works like this. I'll just quickly show you. All right, so the way this works is, um, let's say I'm considering buying and flipping the property and rehabbing it. I just walk through this process of putting in some information into the deal analyzer software talk about you know what I want to purchase the property for how I'm gonna finance the property once I purchase it what rehab costs is gonna cost in this case it was a full rehab so it's gonna need about seventy thousand dollars in rehab what the holding costs were gonna be during the six months of, of renovation and then what it was gonna to cost to sell the property and by the time we were done this system spit out a really cool report it looks like this blow this up for you and it kind of gives us a breakdown of what our return on our investment would be and it makes it really easy to see hey if I rehab this property it's gonna take me probably six months to pull the whole thing off and I'm gonna make about forty four thousand dollars yeah and I was looking at it, I'm like man that's a little bit too much risk for forty four thousand dollars so I went back to the seller and I said listen hey you know um, I the most I could pay you for the property is three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars and they said no we went back and forth a couple more times and I ended up getting the house under contract for three hundred forty five thousand dollars so ten thousand dollars more than my target mm -hmm. all right but even at that price I still didn't want to run the risk the software told me basically you're only gonna make forty four grand after six months and a bunch of money invested yeah so we just changed gears and we said you know what we're just gonna wholesale this thing and we're gonna sell it to a landlord or to another rehabber that's looking for a deal and um, that's what we did. We actually went back into the software. The software has a section for marketing um, that allows you to do mobile marketing. And so we just came into our mobile marketing section and we blasted out uh, this property to all, all of our cash buyers on our cash buyer database. And within 24 hours, we had a bunch of cash buyers call us and say, hey, I want, I want the deal. And we ended up selling it for $370,000 within 24 hours. So. It was like, it all happened so fast. And before you know it, uh, we closed the deal. A rehabber bought the deal that, uh, you know, since it wasn't on the MLS, they couldn't find the deal anywhere else. We served them up on a silver platter. And uh, when it closed, we ended up with $25,000. I like that, I like that. Uh, so my question for you is like, uh, with, with everything that is that you did, I mean, you were originally trying to approach that specific house as a potential rehab, right? Because mm -hmm. that, that's also what you do. You don't just wholesale homes, uh, you also do rehab as well, right? Yeah, so I have a development company called Green Elephant Development, and we buy, was renovate. It, that was the team downstairs, right? Yep, yeah. so we buy, renovate, and sell houses all over the valley, and sometimes when it's on the edge or it doesn't meet our buying criteria, we change gears and we wholesale it out. Definitely, like if the margin of profit is not worth the risk in that in that aspect, then maybe going the wholesale aspect as it, you know, you don't need any money, right? Um, in your experience, is a twenty-five thousand dollar profit when it comes down to wholesaling <laughs> on a three hundred thousand dollar house normal? It's not that it's n normal or not normal. Here's how it works. So the back end value of this property was $550,000. Mm -hmm. It was in an awesome area in Scottsdale, Arizona. Properties in that area are flying off the shelf and uh, the days on market are really, really low. So I knew that there was a lot of investor activity in the area and I knew that I can kind of push my 
um, wholesale fee up yeah. because the value of the property was half a million dollars yeah. after it was fully fixed up and there was still plenty of spread in there for somebody to buy it, renovate it, and sell it. Um, the reason we passed on it wasn't just the profit. Uh, it was, we have a lot of other projects going on right now. Yeah. So we just had to make a determination. I, and I, I would say that for someone even like me, right? I'm, I'm just getting into like rehabbing. So for you to be able to present a deal, like selling it to me for $370,000. And if I could sell it for half a million with even like, you know, all the work, $44,000 to me as an individual, um, you know, that might, that, that is 100% worth it to me, right? And I think that's something that like people need to take into consideration. It's just like, uh, you know, for certain investors, it might be worth their time and for others, it might not, especially for someone like me that's doing it in a very small scale, maybe like one every time I'm trying to do a rehab. Uh, you have like so many different projects that you have going on at and once. And think about this though, perception of value changes. Everybody's intention and perception of value is different. So like to me, I might look at that house and say the back end is, worth 525,000 where you might say it's 550, right? And so right there, you just, because of what your plan is to do with the property and what you're gonna try and sell it for, you might make an extra 10, 20, $30,000 more than I would have made on the property because my intention was different. Yeah. You know, if I was a landlord, I would not buy and renovate and put $70,000 into this house. I might only put 40 and get exactly. it to rental grade. Mm -hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. everybody kind of looks through a different lens and for us, we just, we made that decision just to wholesale it. My normal wholesale fee is like twelve thousand dollars. Okay. You know, so yeah. this was uh, what we would consider like a home run or a much bigger wholesale yeah. fee. But the process of wholesaling is the same. Whether I make three grand, fifteen grand, or twenty-five grand on a wholesale deal, I go through the exact same steps. So you might as well market and try to do deals in an area where you can make those bigger wholesale fees because. You know, if I could do less deals and be a lazy wholesaler, but make the same amount of money as somebody who is in a much cheaper market, but had to do a bunch of deals, exactly. make, I'd rather, you know, put in less work yeah, and definitely. make bigger profits. I like that, I like that. So altogether, uh, the way that you found the deal was with just uh, mail advertisement, right? That's yeah. something that uh, we've talked very little about where you pretty much just sent out a, a postcard for anyone that might be in the market to potentially uh, want to get rid of their house quick, right? Uh, yeah, but I didn't just send out mailers blindly. Okay. I targeted specific homeowners with a very special mail piece. Yes. And that's the key with direct mail marketing and direct response marketing is to make sure that you're, you, you know, cause like in Scottsdale, there's a million plus people that live in Scottsdale. We got to whittle that down to people that have motivation exactly. to sell in Scottsdale. And that's, that's, you know, that's when you're looking at the data and you're, you're using a software to help you filter through that data, it makes it way easier. And that's what this software did for you, right? It does, and it, and it does the direct mail too. So it just made it easier. It took me like 10 minutes 10 to minutes. do this. So like people overcomplicate it and think that it's difficult. And if I was doing it manually, like going down to like public records or going down to the courthouse, it would take forever and yeah. cost a lot of money. Um, nowadays with technology, you can get there pretty quickly. I clicked the mouse a couple of times, it analyzed the data and it basically said, here's all the people that you should send this postcard to mm -hmm. that ha have equity, that have motivation, you know, for us, they lived out of state, you know, the property was vacant yeah. and, um, you know, it had a lot of equity. So we sent them a postcard and, and out of that postcard campaign, we probably got a dozen calls. And out of that dozen calls, we got this deal. One deal, okay. I One like deal. That. So yeah. if you really think about it, I might've sent 800 to $1,000 worth of postcards that day. Yeah. And I made, I got one deal that I made 25 grand on. So would you trade a thousand for 25? It's, it's a numbers game when it comes down to, right? It's making sure that like your set search criteria that you and your team are like setting on your software uh, to make sure that it, that you're at least contacting and reaching out to motivated potential sellers, right? Exactly. Uh, so I think I think that you did that beautifully. On top of that, uh, when it comes down to the comps and being able to determine what that uh, house is worth, first of all, you have experience, right? But uh, I feel like altogether, uh, being able to see other comps within the area, it can give you a better understanding of what that house is worth. Uh, and then that that's when you did that like breakdown, able to see that margin of profit, and then you made that decision of, I'm gonna go the wholesale route instead of the rehab route, uh, and then just contacted your list of cash buyers. That's it, so you, either you're a real estate agent that has access to the MLS, or you're using Zillow, yeah. which is free, or you have a software that has the data in it to pull 
and do your analysis. So there's really two steps to the analysis. One, coming up with what you wanna offer the seller, that's part of it. And then once you come to a meeting of the minds with the seller, analyzing the deal further to see, is this a deal at that price or a dud? And which investing strategy should I do? Should I rehab it or should I turn it into a buy and hold and become a landlord, right? And both of those strategies have to be analyzed kind of side by side before you make a decision. And in this case, we made the decision based on our opportunity cost to go a different direction and just wholesale it. And then once you make that decision, you wanna wholesale it, you gotta figure out who to sell it to. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And so there's two types of people that you're gonna sell it to, rehabbers and landlords. Yeah. So all day long, we're building relationships with other rehabbers and landlords around town. Right? Just building your list. We're building our list. And if I don't have a list because I'm brand new, there's lots of great ways to market a deal. And good deals will sell. Exactly. Because yeah. we have now social media, the most powerful marketing platform in the world. You could just go right on Facebook, even into like Facebook Marketplace. I've seen that, yeah. Post a property flyer saying, This house is worth five fifty, you could get it for three seventy. Everybody's gonna raise their hand and say, I want I wanna look at that deal and um, that's how you build the list yeah. is by, you know, marketing properties on Craigslist and social media and maybe putting out little signs around the neighborhood saying investor special, have to sell quick, mm -hmm. phone number. Yeah. Uh, but then, then now it's just, we have a deal, let's get it in front of them. And so in this case, we use text message marketing to get it in front of our cash buyers. So we blasted out a text. Everybody called us and said, I want it. In fact, we had more people saying they wanted it. One guy actually filled out the paperwork faster than everybody else, went into escrow, and literally a week later, we were we were done, out of the deal, no risk to us. Yeah. We never put any money into it. I never, you know, had to buy the house. The other guy bought the house, and, and we just played matchmaker, yeah. and I ended up with $25,000. Kind of a middleman, I like it. So uh, I wanna actually give a huge shout out to Ryan. Ryan uh, is a good friend of mine that's like a full-time uh, pilot for a private uh, billionaire uh, or private jet pilot for a billionaire uh, and while he was back in Gilbert uh, I actually saw him close two deals it wasn't to like the $25,000 extent uh, but I think one was 3,000 and one was 6,000 I think it's so crazy that like uh, it really comes down to like putting in the hours and putting in the work and on top of that with the software being able to actually make it easier right and building your list uh, and being able to have a better understanding to determine the worth so a uh, huge shout out to you uh, this is definitely something that I would like to learn a little bit more about. I know we've talked about it before, uh, but hopefully next time that you're, you know, checking out maybe a wholesale deal or something like that, uh, maybe I can uh, kind of shadow someone, you or someone on your team, uh, and maybe we can show that on the channel as well. Let's do it. All right, All I right. like it. Thank you again. Um, all right, guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. Huge shout out to Cody for allowing us here at his Clever Investor HQ. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, I'm gonna put that first link below. As well as feel free to subscribe to his YouTube channel where he uploads daily videos when it comes down to wholesale and real estate investing as well, right? Yeah. Uh, that's going to be that second link below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a thumbs up. And like always, guys, let's make sure that we in the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.